Well, hello everyone. The game is uh, struggling to launch, but uh, hello. Today we're going to do a build zoo, but I am still going to start off with at least doing the four griffin races. And um, maybe uh, maybe that's... A, well, yeah, see, we don't have to do mores anymore. It feels really good that that's off the checklist. It feels really good. So there we got the boost into the orb, which does happen sometimes with just a single flap. Um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. I've got some cool stuff today. Uh, this build zoo almost didn't happen. Just because uh, the patch was very nerf heavy, right? So that doesn't mean that new stuff isn't going on. And that the meta isn't changing. And that there's fun things, you know, to experience. But when it's a nerf heavy patch, it's much more subtle. And takes much greater understanding of the game. To know what to play that might be interesting, right? So, for example, now that Rampage isn't deleting people for free by throwing a boulder at them. That does open up a lot of other builds that had been edged out pre-patch, if that makes sense. Not a lot. And not to a great, great degree. But it does. And then when you think of the, uh, uh, every class getting nerfed here, there, and everywhere. It does, across the spectrum close that gulf that divide that was locking out so many like fun gimmicky builds or you know different builds and builds that we haven't really uh, believed in for a while even if they didn't directly change <clears throat> so <clears throat> that that kind of just leaves you open to everything it's like well what the hell do we play if you remember on a previous build zoo i did play a little bit i feel like i've missed gold here i did miss gold but because i didn't go in a straight line on a previous build zoo, I did give you a fresh air game, even though there had been no patches to fresh air. And that wasn't because I was scrounging for a reason to play fresh air. See, here I feel like I'm going slow. Let's do that again. This is too slow. I think it's because I double tapped the lift button. It was because one of fresh air's biggest counters, I think it was unblockable soul beast. I think that was the patch. Hat was no longer unblockable, so we could trust our reflects and things again. There, I hit the wall again. I'll see. No, no, no this just isn't going to go anywhere. Uh, today, though, I'm not going to really worry about that too much. I want to look at, like, more direct stuff. And uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm also not going to do every class. To, speaking of Ranger, to the Ranger fans out there, I literally have no inspiration or aspiration to play Ranger for you today. Ranger had basically nothing in the balance patch. And maybe that's warranted, maybe that's not. There is a druid build that I'm keen to try, but I've never played it, really. Um, and uh, so I don't understand it at all. I, I don't feel like I put on a good show for people. So, uh, you know, that would be a complete noob experience right there. There we go, we got gold that time. <clears throat> not sure what it is that I have to do. I, I think I just need to be really careful of clipping the walls. That's actually probably the most well-balanced gold in the game. I seem to remember complimenting that gold most times I go to do that one. And then promptly forgetting about the uh, credit I've ascribed it, but still. The build zoo will be on EU, since that's where I am right now. Dive without flapping after the second checkpoint. Uh, interesting. I really like this one. This is cool. There's no enemy. You get a free chest. It's not too hard. It's, yeah, sorry, it's ridiculously easy. Let me put it that way. Whoops. <laughs> and I failed it. I didn't know where the orb was going to be. Call me some slack. Look, it's doing a weird thing again with my camera. That's so strange. But this one is so, like... Look at this. What 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 is... Maybe they imagine that you're weaving through these rocks in a more difficult way. I guess you do go some distance, kind of. But not really. Do you know what enable mount camera mount rolling is in settings? I think it's a thing where, like, when you're on the Raptor or when you're on the Springer and you, like, turn sharply while using the mount's ability, it will roll. Uh, uh, the Skimmer is probably the best example. Uh, when you, like, tap A and D, A and D, A and D on the Skimmer, the camera will actually, like, tilt. What's the word? Fuck. There's, a, there's an actual film term for it. Anyway, uh, and it's a very basic one. I'm a bit uh, slow-brained at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, it's that. Um, and it makes some people feel sick. Because, apparently, people feel very sick very quickly from a number of different things in video games. Which I'm always very judgmental about. Because I, I don't experience that. So, therefore, it's not real. 
Yeah, the ro it's just rolling the camera. Try using free cam while mounted. It's very fun. I sometimes do when I feel like I uh, am confident with my current moment in the Griffin. This is... Uh, I clipped a wall here. So we're going quite slow. This is the slowest one I've ever done of this. Do we get gold anyway? Yeah, we do. I swear, it's impossible to get silver. Look at the silver time on that. It's one minute. How? How do you get silver on that? Because I can't imagine being able to climb high enough without the speed. And if you've got that kind of speed... Here's how you'd have to get silver on this, right? You'd have to, like... 